When I think about how unhealthy I was, it really blows me away. A chef's family is constantly surrounded by food. We just couldn't help ourselves. One day a doctor told me if I didn't lose weight, I'd be a dead man. That's when I decided to take control of my life. Two words, low carb. We can show you how to eat great and still lose the weight so you too can have a healthy and happy future. Low carb and loving it. I hear all the time that you can't have Mexican food on low carb and I'm a Mexican food lover from way back and it's just not true. On my way to losing over 260 pounds, I ate Mexican food all the time. I just reinvented it, something I'm always going to be telling you. If you can't have it, reinvent it. Today we're going to be making tequila chicken quesadillas, uh, guacamole fresh made, southwestern chili con carne, and a great dessert, no-bake key lime cheesecake. We're going to finish it up with some sangria. So I'm excited about this because I love that Mexican food. We're going to get started right now with making the guacamole. I'm going to start with some fresh onions, some garlic, and cilantro. Now, with the red onions, you only use very small amounts because they do have natural sugars. We put that in a bowl. And I'm going to go right into just one clove of fresh garlic. Put that right in. Now just a little bit of fresh cilantro. End of story. All right, now on to the avocado. Avocados are a fruit that have the highest amount of oils and the highest amount of protein of any fruit. And on top of that, they're loaded with healthy fats that actually lower cholesterol. Use a spoon, you can get it right out, just scoops right out of the shell. I'm gonna add some sour cream because that's the other main ingredient. So now I've got a little bit of cayenne, just a pinch. Of course, a little seasoning with salt and pepper, just a little bit because you can re-season it later to see if it's right. And a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Okay. And I just take a fork and kind of mash it up. Now, I'm going to put the lime in there. And actually, the acid in the, the citrus here is going to keep the avocado from turning brown. Okay, a little, one more mix. You'll notice I didn't mix it that much. That's very important because you want that chunkiness. And that's all she wrote. Okay, Mexican cooking and it's easy. And it's healthy. Into the fridge, and we're gonna move on to our tequila chicken quesadillas, which I love. So right now we're gonna make the soy flour base for the tequila chicken quesadillas. And all it is is very simply some soy flour. It's made from toasted soybeans and it's ground up and it's not absorbed by your body the way say a refined white flour would be so it's allowed and you can subtract the fiber of which it is loaded with so all we're going to do we're going to add three eggs one two and trace you got it a little bit of this sugar substitute and the reason that we add the sugar substitute to it is because soy flour has its own bitter flavor. So we add the Splenda or the sugar substitute to kind of level it off. And now we've got some heavy cream and the secret ingredient, a little bit of club soda. Why do we put club soda? Because we don't use yeast. And if you want anything to rise when you're making a low carb uh, crust like we're making here, you must use something else. And the club soda helps it rise. No yeast and no white flour. Okay, and now I've got a couple of 12-inch pizza pans. You can buy those in any supermarket. Just spray them with a little bit of vegetable spray so they don't stick. And you're just not going to believe how easy this is. Here we go. Uno. <laughs> Can't help but want to go speak in Spanish here. And two. One, two. We're making quesadillas, so we want it really thin. So now we're going to pop these in a preheated oven that's at 375 degrees for only 12 to 15 minutes and take them out. So we got that in there. Now we're using peppers. You may not be having orange juice on low carb in the beginning, but I can tell you this, this has three times the amount of vitamin C as an orange. So there you go. And the green pepper, twice as much. So all we're gonna do is take a little bit of this, like so. No fancy schmancy, any way you wanna do it. Just get the job done. 
And then I'm gonna cut them into strips and we're gonna saute them with the chicken. Anything that has natural sugars like these peppers and onions should be eaten in moderation. And with the veggies, we're just gonna throw in one clove of garlic with chicken breast. Let me tell you, I want you to take a good look at this. There isn't a gram of fat on this chicken breast. It's low carb, it's a protein, and it's totally zero carb. So let's go right ahead and slice this baby up. Some thin strips, not too thin, not too thick, so they'll cook about the same time as the peppers. Okay, let's do it to it. We're on high, and there you go, pan's perfect. Now I'm gonna just season it up a little with some salt, black ground pepper, and we've got the cumin right over here. Just a couple pinches of cayenne, not too much. Some salt. This is our uh, filling, and we want it to be very flavorful. Now, the cumin. Unbelievable Mexican flavor. I love this stuff. All right, we get that mixed in. Oh, man, can you smell that? All right, a little fresh ground black pepper. Now, when the chicken's about half cooked, which it almost is now, I'm going to throw in the peppers and the onions so they, they still stay a little crispy. Very little onion. You can use more pepper than onion. I'm going to check in the oven, see how our crust is. Oh, yeah. You might want to have to turn them around a bit to make sure they cook evenly, just like so. You can see that. They're cooking beautiful. Once that's almost completely done, we're going to sizzle it with the tequila and add that flavor that I so love. I used tequila for everything. It is zero carb. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Now we're cooking. Hey, if you're not having fun, you ain't cooking. We're going to pull the quesadillas out. We're going to stuff them. And we're going to be eating Mexican in no time. It's now open. Awesome. Tune in for mouth-watering tips and great... Back when I started, I was still living... Atkins changed that. Okay, we've got the quesadilla wraps out of the oven. Our soy flour quesadilla wraps. And we're going to go into making a little bit of the filling. I've got a little chopped cilantro here that we're just going to use as garnish. And we're going to fill those quesadilla wraps up and then saute them in a pan with butter. Okay, oh, that my butter right here. Just gonna put a couple pats of butter in there and let it melt. And I'm gonna start filling my quesadillas. First thing I do is cut it into fourths so I can easily get it off the pan. Okay, so we just cut it like that. Cut it again. Oh, this one's 